Hello, today I'm going to be reviewing my M8A1 tank destroyer. This is an American tank destroyer used during the Second World War and it's based on the M5 Stuart Light tank. Uh, first off, let's talk about the features. The features on the tank is a 360 degree rotating turret and the only other so called feature is the fact the uh, tracks do move. Uh, I don't know if that can be classified as a feature or not, but uh, some of my tanks, uh, the tracks can't move when. Uh, this one can, so I classify it as a feature. Uh, I'll start off with the open top turret. Uh, it's not really that detailed inside. Uh, I've not bothered to add any yet. Uh, the only detail I did, well, you can see is the breach of the gun. Um, but I caught the shape very nicely in my opinion. Um, the mantle does not move, that's fixed. But that may be changed in the future, I'm not sure. Uh, but I probably will add the 50 caliber machine gun on the back. Um, so yeah, other than that, there's not really much else to show with the turret. Now moving on to the superstructure. Um, I think the back looks very nice with the two slopes, just like on the real thing. The sort of little elevated platform at the back. Um, so I think that looks pretty nice. Um, so uh, so does the front in my opinion, I've, the slope looks good um, and I added some detail here which is the two periscopes for the crew um, other than that there's nothing really else to show with the top of the tank uh, going on to the side, the track area uh, as you can see it looks very similar to the real thing uh, the correct space in between the wheels and also the um, track rollers at the top are in their correct positions um, and it has the accurate sag to the front uh, gear and also the back wheel uh, if you're wondering this is currently a uh, gear but I may change that in the future to a wheel I just don't have any in dark grey at the moment uh, around the back it's rather plain um, and obviously the other side track area is identical um, but yeah, other than that, it's not really much else to show. It's more of a model than a toy or anything. Uh, there's no open hatches, partially due to the fact it is open top version uh, of the Stuart light tank. It uh, gives you an idea of the scale. Uh, gives you a side profile. So it's really small, as you can see. Um, it's actually built for a 135 scale, uh, which is like this scale, um, which I mean there's, there's only a tiny difference in height really, it's only sort of the head of a minifigure taller, um, but I mean it's compatible with minifigures as you can see. Uh, but anyway, other than that there's nothing really else to show, it's a very um, basic model on on the feature side of things, but it's nice, uh, nicely scaled and detailed in my opinion. Give you a quick comparison with the Tiger. Um, as you can see, it's relatively smaller, um, which is accurate because the M5 Stuart was a light tank, and obviously this is just the tank destroyer variant. So anyway, um, if you enjoyed this review, leave a like um, or a comment, or and a comment, because um, it really helps out. I'd love to hear some feedback, some constructive uh, criticism would be also great. Um, I'm always looking to improve my models. Um, so, yeah, if you do that, that'd be awesome. I will be uh, doing weekly updates very soon. I just haven't been able to at the moment because uh, I've got a lot of work in progress tanks. Uh, There's a Churchill, a KV5 uh, heavy tank, a mouse, as you might, I think you've seen in a previous video. I've uh, briefly shown it. And also Elephant. I just need to do a Brooklyn Corder first, then I can actually show you what I'm building um, and it will actually be in some state to show you but anyway uh, I think I've rambled on long enough um, so I hope you have a wonderful day and thanks for watching